MPT and the Chesapeake Shakespeare Company at the Baltimore Book Festival. Chesapeake Shakespeare Company is here this weekend in conjunction with Maryland Public Television to promote the Hollow Crown series. The Hollow Crown is a series that was created by the BBC. The title actually comes from the line from Richard II in which he talks about how every king ultimately dies and he's talking about the humanity of kings. The plays are Richard II, Henry IV Part I and Part II, and Henry V. And they tell the story of the rise of the Plantagenet dynasty in England, beginning with the deposition of Richard and in this case ending with Henry Henry V's conquest of France. I'll make it stronger ere I part from thee. We'll do the fight that we're gonna do a little bit slower. We just want you guys to be able to look for uh, specific moments in the in this fight that tell you a little bit about what's going on with us as characters, what's what our reactions are. Just give you a little bit more time to see it. That death. That stage combat. Yes, we use weapons that are real but made safe. That said, there's a lot of technique that is involved with making sure we stay safe. If Amy were to hit me on the head with this, even though it's dull, I wouldn't like it very much. Um, I would probably take a really short trip to the hospital uh, where I might stay for a little while. Shakespeare tells very human stories. It's not just a straightforward history, but it really is about the people involved, the characters involved, and what they teach us about ourselves. He used English kings to tell very human stories of relationships between fathers and sons, of the ideas of absolute power and absolute corruption. And I'd like to pass it out. Oh, I've got it on. Oh, you've got it on your phone. This is how we teach Shakespeare. A lot of times we'll have people just say the words to get them in their mouths, to understand how they are. Because Shakespeare wrote in an older version of English than we speak today. He said thee and thou and wilt and wouldst and things like that. And they're all very, very, very easy once you get it in your mouth and learn how to say it. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Or close the wall up with our English dead. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up the every spirit to his full height. Ah!